But to unlock the full potential, we have to keep investing in our workers and our manufacturing capacity. And that's what our Build Back Better plan is all about. It's about leveraging once-in-a-generation investments in a whole-of-government effort to lift up American auto workers and strengthen, and strengthen the American leadership in the world in the clean car technology, mm -hmm. trucks, and not just cars, but trucks as well, and buses. You know, that's why today I'm signing an executive order setting out a target of 50 percent of all passenger vehicles sold by 2030 will be electric and set into motion an all-out effort. That's why, along with the members of Congress here today, we're working around the clock on the Build Back Better plan, which does three critical things. One, it transforms our infrastructure. We're going to put Americans to work modernizing our roads, our highways, our ports, our airports, rail and transit systems. You know, that included putting IBEW members and other union workers to work, installing a national network of 500,000 charging stations along our roads and highways and at our homes and our apartments. Two, we're going to boost our manufacturing capacity. The Build Back Better plan invests in new rooted facilities, uh, excuse me, new and retool facilities, and employs workers with good paying wages, good jobs. It grants the grants to kickstart new battery and parts production, loans and tax credits to boost manufacturing of these clean vehicles. And our Build Back, Better, Build Back Better plan makes the largest investment in research and development in generations. This will help innovate, manufacture, and build the supply chains for batteries, semiconductors, and those small computer chips and electric trucks and cars are going to be even more re reliant upon as we move forward.